Hello everyone. In this video we are going to talk about how to define an inventory file but in YAML format. In a previous video we already defined an inventory file but using the INI format. And in this video we are going to see the differences between those. First, let's remember a bit how an INI format is defined. This is an example that I have which it's defining uh, four subgroups, one for each environment I have, prod, pre-prod, test, and dev. And as you can see, four environments are referencing to the same IP address because I only have one remote machine, but you can define uh, all your servers on each subgroup here. Uh, and this is a way that we can use the, the um, INI format. Now, I prepared also an, an inventory uh, file, but in YAML format with the same uh, subgroups and the same servers. And the first thing that you need to know about the YAML is um, that we need uh, to use spaces for indentation. In this case, two spaces on each uh, subsection or subblock. And the first tag that we are going to use is all to define the, the starting point of the file, all and then a column sign. And after that, we need to, to open a new block with the tag children and also a col uh, colon. As you can see, each line has a colon as, as a end delimiter. And after the children section, we need to define each subgroup as the as the same that we did in the ini file. I have dev, test, preprod, and prod also. And uh, inside of each subgroup, we need to define hosts is another tag and a column. Uh, as you can see, I'm defining the same IP address, but what is different here? is the section in preprod well one comment about the the indentation as i mentioned you need to do with spaces um, because uh, other characters for for delimiters are not allowed only spaces so i'm using two here other two and two for each subsection okay now let's take a look on the preprod subgroup in this case, I'm defining preprod as I did in the ini file as well. But instead of uh, putting a host here, I'm going to use a reference for this subgroup for, for test. So instead of host tag, I'm going to, to put children. And then what, um, what subgroup I need to use here. In this case, I'm going to, uh, to use uh, test. As you can see, uh, using YAML format is a bit uh, flexible, is a bit more flexible than using any files, but also it adds more, more tags and you need to remember about the indentation. Okay, let's take a look how to use it. Then I'm going to start typing Ansible command, then this flag. And then I'm going to specify the inventory, the inventory file name. Then I need to specify the group that I need to affect with my command. In this case, I'm going to use all. Then I'm going to specify the module that I want to use. In this case, I need uh, the, the ping module. And I'm going to execute it. It will return success because my, my remote machine is responding as expected. But what if I want to affect only a subgroup? So I need to, to put right here, I'm going to affect preprod. And as you remember, this is not uh, the same that the other uh, subgroups by using host. But in this case, preprod is using an inner reference to test. So I'm going to ping this this way and it will return also success. Okay. So this is the way that you can define an inventory file using YAML format. I hope this is useful for you and please subscribe to the channel. Let me know your comments. Thanks.